Hey guys, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the rank tracker in Ahrefs. So Ahrefs used to be just a link tracking tool back in the day that would be competing with Majestic SEO, with Moz and so on. But now it's a way more comprehensive tool. And in this review, as part of my overall review of all the tools in Ahrefs, I'm going to talk about the rank tracker. So now in Ahrefs, you can actually add sites. And on the standard plan, you can add uh, up to 10 sites. And you can see I have track keywords here. And when I click here, what I get is I basically get a rank tracker like many other people uh, would run, many other like tools would do. And uh, it shows me the evolution of my ranking because I've added some keywords. And actually, if you, uh, let me just pick one. If you actually take one of these keywords, you can actually see the history of the ranking. So you can see that this keyword was maybe like 18th on September 4th. And now on set number 30, it's number five. And you can see what's going up, what's going down. Uh, and you can actually choose whether the report should be updated weekly or daily up to what you prefer. And you can actually export these reports so that you can uh, you know, give it to a client, for example, if you want to show them the, um, the rankings for the site and so on. Uh, the standard plan comes with something like 750 keywords. So you should be able to track quite a few. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily worth it if you just want to use it as a rank tracker, but if you want to use it as a combination of the rank tracker, the link index, the content explorer, and all these other things that we talk about in the full review, that's pretty good. Now, another cool thing is that actually for every URL, you can actually uh, look at, you know, for example, let's say that this URL just went up. Well, I can actually go and check the backlinks inside the backlink checker. If I clicked here, it would just open this URL in the backlink checker in Ahrefs and show me all the links that it acquired in the past few days. I would also be able to see the organic keywords and all that stuff. But the organic keywords, we're gonna cover them when we're gonna be adding keywords. So usually when you have a rank tracker, uh, adding keywords, you kind of need to do that manually. You need to know which keywords you want to track and so on, which is okay. But you know, very often your keyword, your content, sorry, is going to rank for long tail keywords and is gonna um, rank for things you didn't necessarily think about. And so if you click on that keywords on Ahrefs, what it does is because it has this uh, function that allows you to find these keywords that you rank for, it actually finds the keywords you get the most traffic for in search. So for example, how to make money blogging with number three. Um, and that's definitely a high traffic keyword. It's for them is 576, which is some kind of index. So you are able to just pick the keywords in there and just add them to your rank tracker. Now you can just keep going and you can see there's 88 pages of keywords. So it does a pretty good job at finding these long tail keywords. I mean, even if I go on page eight, uh, these keywords have quite a bit less search volume, but yeah, we do rank for all these things like authority websites or ClickBank traffic. It all works. And so uh, I am able to actually pick all my keywords here. I'm able to filter. So for example, if I want to just find my keywords related to ClickBank, I'm able to type, type sorry, ClickBank here. And then, you know, the engine is just gonna filter for these keywords. And then I could maybe like, this is filtered by traffic. So how to make money with ClickBank, I'm number one, but maybe I could filter it per volume. And if I filter it per volume on the other way, maybe, then ClickBank, I rank number 27. Uh, and if I was able to rank on page one, maybe for that, I'd be able to get more traffic. Or maybe this one, ClickBank Affiliate Marketing, 260, number 14. Maybe if I was able to get a backlink that, you know, had this anchor text or was able to use some, uh, to change my copy a bit or something, I could do that. So I'm gonna add it to my rank tracker, optimize it, and then see how it goes later. So once you have been shopping around for your keywords, you still need to pick a location. And the good news is you can actually add several locations. Let's say I want to track in the United Kingdom, United States, let's tra start with that, and United Kingdoms. Um, United Kingdom, and then I'll be able to add these keywords both for the US and the UK. I'm not gonna do it now because that would screw up my report and I don't actually track in the UK, um, but I'm just gonna do it for the US. And once you're done, you can just click on the done button. And then you can see that uh, keywords are being added. So when you see that little wheel that you see that basically now I'm gonna be tracking this how to make money blogging keyword, which I'm number three, four, uh, and you can number four, it seems. Uh, and yeah, I'll be able to actually look at the evolution of that keyword over time. So right now it should just be a dot and that's it. 
So that's basically how the rank tracker works in Ahrefs. It's it's pretty good, it's pretty simple, it can track a lot of keywords. I really like that. I can just click on the URL and find the backlinks and find all that stuff. Try to understand where your rankings are moving, essentially. And overall, uh, if you have use for the other tools, I highly recommend it. I recommend you go check the review. The full review is on authorityhacker.com slash Ahrefs dash review. And you will be able to get all our tutorials using Ahrefs and the review of all the tools it includes. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.